Oh, big breath. I am so nervous. Like, what if Sim Lissy is watching this right now? What if she, what if she is watching this, you guys? Oh, so nervous. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Hey there, it's Mindy. Thanks for stopping back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am so excited that you guys are here because today I am going to be doing a house tour of a build challenge that I just did. Now this is a build challenge by Simlissy for her 100k special. So shout out to Simlissy for 100,000 subscribers. That is so awesome. You definitely deserve it, girl. Um, Simlissy is definitely one of my favorite YouTubers, if not my favorite. She is so sweet in all of her videos and her builds are absolutely amazing she puts so much detail and hard work into her builds and i absolutely love that so um this build challenge was basically a um foundation that she built and it had a wall a toilet and a table and basically you could not move the wall you could not move the toilet and you could not move the table they were just randomly placed in this build you could not add anything onto the foundation now i do have to apologize i did do the beginning part of this on my live stream over on twitch i thought i was recording it but i wasn't so this is not actually a speed build it's a house tour so i do apologize about that um but yeah we're definitely going to jump right into this but you guys oh big breath i am so nervous like what if sim lissy is watching this right now what if she what if she is watching this you guys oh so nervous okay we can do this we can do this so <laughs> this is the outside of the home that i have created and like i said i will insert a picture of what that foundation looked like um what the beginning of it all looked like i will also post in the description below the link to her video describing this challenge i do believe that the deadline is april 21st however it's always fun to go back and visit challenges anyways um so yeah this is the outside and we are just going to go ahead and take a tour of the inside first and then we will look at the outside you guys so i'm really excited to show you this home i've spent so much time on it i've put a lot of detail into this home so i'm really excited to share it this is probably one of my favorite homes that i've ever did the foundation that she um originally put down was super huge so it gave me so much room to work with this is a three bedroom two and a half bath i believe um so yeah when we first walk in here we have the entrance way and i have over here like a little um coat rack or i don't know like i guess a little shelf where the kids could put their book bags or just extra things when they walk in the door over here i just have like shoes and again just another little table i love using those tables from the laundry day pack and then over here, I have a little end table as well. I really like to use that notebook with the pen that we got with the latest update because I thought it looked really cute. Like maybe you answer the phone and you had to leave like a couple notes for somebody or you just drop your mail on that table is what I was going for. Um, this area right here was really hard when I was doing the floor plan because it just kind of sticks out. Uh, um, this challenge was a lot harder than I expected it to be, but yeah, this little area just, um, pretty much just sticks out and I was like, what am I going to put there? So I decided to put one of those corner chairs and it fit perfectly. I think it looks pretty good. So going in to the main living area, it's pretty much open. This is the dining room area and over here this is the table that we were not allowed to move we were allowed to recolor it now as you can see i did put like a little china cabinet i used the move objects and put a little china cabinet there because the color matched perfectly and i thought it looked really cute um so i just wanted to spice it up a little bit and make it kind of blend in with the whole dining room area i used a lot of neutral colors with this house i don't know i guess just when i was building it it just kind of like felt like that type of style um, and then over here we have a um, little island that your sims can set at. It is at an angle, but it does work. I think like maybe the middle one doesn't work. I can't remember. One of them do not work, and I'm thinking it's the middle. Um, 
but yeah, it, it's pretty much, it's basically all functional. I did play test this home. So, um, anything that like any kinks that I had, I did go ahead and change it before I upload it to the gallery over here. Like I said, is the kitchen and I used darker countertops. Again, I used like really earthy tones cause it just felt like it fit right in. So yeah, that's the main living area. And then over here off to the side, I was going to make this, sorry, I'm a little bit wobbly guys. I was going to make this a dining room, but I decided it would make a really good kind of like a mud room. So I have an area where you can grab an umbrella, hang up your coats, put your um, shoes there. I've got a space here, just more cabinets, a litter box, of course, and I have a um, trash can. I love using these little signs that we got with the holiday update with the words on it. Most of them, I think all the other swatches come in like holiday type theme, but I love the ones with the words on it. I use it throughout like all my builds. I just think it's really cute. So then over here, I kind of have like a pet area. Like I kind of imagine that these little um, end table things would be like pet supplies and I stuck a little pet bowl down there with some treats and just a little shelf with some blankets and stuff. I thought it was really cute. This home is very pet friendly. So, um, yeah, you can definitely play with pets in this home. So over here, I have the main like living area. This is the only living area that I have. So you'll notice that I moved the TV up to cover the mirror in the fireplace, which I know it may seem a little bit silly, but um, like I said, it was the only like real living area that I had. So it worked pretty well and everything works really good. I stuck a water bottle and some books here. I did notice though that my Sim picks up these this book on the table and puts it away. <laughs> um, so yeah, your Sim may do that. They may pick up these books and put them away, but that's okay. Um, I have a bookshelf over here and then like a cat climbing tree right here. And then over here, I have just a little decorative table. So moving on, we have an office space over here. Now, this was the wall that we were not allowed to move. So basically what I did is I just closed it off and made this whole area into a pretty large office, which I'm pretty pleased with. I used a lot of the new stuff that we got with the free update. So I used like the bookshelves there. I used the new laptop. Um, the pin holder and the chair all came from, and of course that book all came from the new update. And what I love about this book is it looks like, I don't know if anybody ever noticed this, but when I was doing my review, I did, it looks like there's like maybe a coffee stain or something like somebody set their, um, cup on the book and it like just leaked through. And I thought that was really like just a really clever touch to it, like a really nice detail. So um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I love the new pictures that we got with the new update too. I like how they like lean up against the wall. So this is probably one of my favorite swatches that it came with. And I like just having it lean up against the wall. I stuck a guitar in here. I tried my best to put as much skill building, um, uh, skill building. What's my word that I'm looking for? <laughs> just skill building items. So your Sims, like no matter what they want to do, like they have a little bit of something, um, to build their skills with. So that is basically, oh wait, no, that's not. So over here, it does seem a little silly to have a bathroom off of the kitchen, but I feel like the countertop and this landing where the basement stairs are kind of separates it nicely. So it's not directly off the kitchen. This is the toilet that we were not allowed to move as well. So again, it was a little bit awkward, but I liked that I was able to fit a half bath in here. I used our new white shelves, yay, <laughs> um, to put a few items on as well. And then of course we have a sink here with a cup of water and a little thing of chapstick, which I thought was super cute. I got the chapstick from the debug menu. Um, so if you just go into the debug menu, you have to filter through everything, but there's a little chapstick. I don't know if this cup of water will go bad. It hasn't yet. And it's been like two sim days in my game where I'm testing everything. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go bad. If it does, I do apologize. Um, so yeah, this is basically the main living floor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look upstairs. Like I said, there are three bedrooms and um, two bathrooms upstairs. So let's just go up the stairs here. There's a pretty large landing upstairs. Um, originally, uh, 
with the foundation that she gave us, she said that we could make it a one story or a two story. And because it was so large, I just decided to do a two story and I knew it was going to give me a pretty large house, but I absolutely love how it turned out. So up here in the landing area, I put a bookshelf. I did size that bookshelf down. And I also put, again, one of those pictures that we got with the new update. I just changed the swatch. And then I um, uh, resized it down to, like, the small size it would go and stuck it on a shelf. Because I think they look really cute, kind of like they're leaning up against the wall on the shelf. Um, so, yeah, that was really cute. I love that. Um, I just have a little seats here for your Sims to sit and read or hang out. And then uh, this was another really awkward area. It was like a sharp corner um, because some of this uh, foundation was on an angle. So it was really awkward when I was building it. But I end up fitting this nice little corner chair in there with a lamp behind it. And I think it turned out pretty well. Um, so over here is the boys room. Now I do just want to give you a disclaimer. I created... Um, bunk beds in here however the sim cannot get to the top bunk bed i have seen other sims like actually have sims get in the top bunk um but for some reason i tried moving at different angles i couldn't get my sim in the top bunk they can use the bottom bed though so i would recommend if you're going to put a family in here to just use one boy and he'll sleep on the bottom bed and then the top bed's just more or less for decoration so for his room, I did like blues and oranges and I really love the tone of the wood and the colors turned out really, really well. I put some posters on his wall. Of course, he's got a game and some clutter items and a couple chairs so he can sit and play video games if he has a friend over or just hang out. He has a wardrobe over here and then he also has his own little desk and computer with some art supplies as well as a toy box. So moving across the hall here, this was probably one of the, probably the hardest room to build in this game because it was all on an angle. So this is a teenage girl's room and it's so pretty and so girly and I absolutely love it. I did my best to kind of like organize everything because it's on an angle. So it's really awkward, but everything does work. I filled up a shelf here with some of the skulls that I got uh, from the show hidden objects and some of the eggs because I think they're super girly and super cute. And then over here on the end table, beside her lamp, I put some nail polish. And then I kind of imagine that little yellow box would be like a box that maybe she keeps like her boyfriend's love letters or notes from friends in. And then, of course, she's got like some lotion and some perfume sitting on top of that bo box. And then she has her computer here. I know that the lamp is sticking out. I forgot to resize that down, but I will resize that down before I upload this to the gallery. And then, of course, her dresser, which obviously has some more makeup items. And then she has a little bookcase and a cute pink lamp. Um, so, yeah, that is the teenage girl's room. Moving on down the hall here, we have the master bedroom. Um, so, let's talk about the master bedroom. First of all, this is what I was talking about. Um, again, there's that painting that we received in the newest update. I sized it down. I stuck it on that shelf and it just looks so good. Like it's leaning up against the wall. I really, really like that. But I was having issues because of the, the angle of the house. I was having issues with the roof and it continually cutting through the room. So I did have to divide this into a room. So I know it seems a little bit silly, um, but I kind of imagine maybe it's like a walk-in closet type deal, but I put her dresser in there. Um, I also want to point out, I know that this, um, I keep saying um a lot. I know that the hairdryer and the two books are like cut into each other because what happened is I realized at the last minute that the roof was cutting through and I did have my OSP red shelf, which is a custom content red shelf that helps move things um, kind of in the right area, but it was like last minute. So I didn't use that shelf to move it, um, but I will fix that again before I upload this to the gallery. I also stuck some money right there just because I thought it was like really cute, like um, 
you know, like just they come in and throw their money down or whatever if they're taking their wallet out. Um, of course, I use these decorations that we got again from the holiday pack. I told you I absolutely love them. I love putting them in my builds. Um, so yeah, this is the master bedroom. I love the purples. It's very cozy. And then you can see right here where the roof does cut through. It doesn't affect the gameplay though, but I do apologize about that. It was just so frustrating while I was doing it. So in here is the master bath and over here it's a little bit kind of divided so it's a little bit weird. Um, I have two sinks right here and then a toilet and then I had again this really weird angle so I just stuck a hamper right there. Um, I know it's like a little bit silly but oh well it works. The hamper works then you get to the toilet then you get to the hamper. And then, so over here, I stuck a window, which actually cuts into the roof, but I think it's really neat because it looks like there's like a glass panel to the tub. They can still use the tub. And then, of course, we've got a shower here as well. So this is the master bathroom. And then going back out, the other room that we have up here, we have the kids' bathroom. Um, I know the tree is sticking through. So I apologize about that. I'll try to move that as well. Um, but I wanted this to be like really kid friendly and colorful. So um, yeah, I kind of put the toilet over here. I know that shelf looks really close, but the toilet is still usable. So I was really excited about that because I was kind of wondering when I placed it if it was going to work or not. Um, I stuck some towels stacked up here. I've got the hair dryer. Um, some lights, of course, and then the tub. I love the tile in here. It just turned out really, really good. I will try to fix that tree or move it a little bit so it's not cutting into the house, um, but no big deal. And then over here, the last room upstairs is the laundry room. I told you it's a really, really big build, guys. So this is a laundry room. It's very bright and open just because if I had a laundry room, it's what I would want. Like I always imagine like one day I'm going to have this huge laundry room. Probably never going to happen. Like, I hate doing laundry anyway. Um, but anyways, I stuck some counters in here and then just maybe like a box of supplies. I stuck your holiday boxes in here so your Sims can change everything. And then I have over here this gorgeous area that I just kind of cluttered again. I used those paintings from the holiday pack. I can't help it. I just love them. I stacked some shirts on top of some towels using the OSP shelf and everything works. Of course, I stuck my Sim Plum Bob paintings in here. If you're new to my channel, you know that every single one of the houses that I have built for my game file, I have used the Plum Bob pictures on there. It's like my signature marking. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and go down and take a look at the basement. And then we're going to go outside and you guys can check out the outside as well. So I can't hit tab to go down to the basement. So we're just going to do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, ooh, when you first walk down to the basement, we have like this little finished area and it's really small. I stick a treadmill in here and again, another holiday box, but then it kind of goes off into this more unfinished basement. Um, I kind of imagine maybe they just, they were in the process of finishing it and maybe run out of money and they just kind of cleaned up the area that they have. But this is like a really good storage room. And uh, so yeah, I've got some boxes. I've got some storage shelves. I got a card table in here. I kind of imagine this would be like where dad goes to like play poker with his friends or whatever. Like I remember growing up, like my dad and my grandpa, they would it, they'd be in the garage and they would all be hanging out listening to music and um, looking at cars for hours on end. So um, yeah, I just kind of imagine this is kind of like the man cave. So of course over here I've got a woodworking bench because again I tried my hardest to make sure that we had um, at least the basics of every skill building down. So if your sims move in here they're pretty set for skill building. Skill building. You notice this blue over here where I placed this little bar thing which came with Strangerville. It's because I sized it down. Um, I don't know. I It doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you guys can size it back up. But um, I just felt like it looked too big when it was sized up. So yeah, that's the basement. So we are going to go back upstairs. And we are going to check out the backyard here so I just got to figure out where we're at now 
All right. So we're going to go out through here. This is like the side door or the back door. And immediately when you walk outside, we have a gorgeous table. So your Sims can sit out here and eat. And then I spent so much time, you guys, on this garden because I'm really trying to work on my landscaping skills. I'm not the best. In The Sims 3, I always just felt so confident with my landscaping abilities, but something about The Sims 4 just didn't work. Um, I don't know. So these little bricks that you see I found in um, the debug menu, and they're actually blocks. They're children blocks, and I sized them up six times. And I felt with the little triangles on them, they looked really realistic, like a brick that you would lay down. So, um, as you can see, as you guys saw, um, it goes all the way around the front. Let's go a little bit faster here. Um, so yeah, it goes all the way around the front of the build. This is the chimney, by the way. The chimney is not attached to the house, like, through the second story up. And it's kind of weird, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty cute, so... Yeah, it just, it's it's different, and I like that. So, going back around here to the backyard, um, I did stick a couple planting boxes out here. I figured if your sim was a gardener, um, you know, there's space where you can put a larger garden if you want to. Um, I've got a grill out here, a swing set. I stuck some chairs out here. If Maybe the parents are sitting out here watching their kids swing. And then, of course, I have a flower arrangement station as well. We have a um, artistry canvas over here so your sims can paint. This little area I want to talk about. <laughs> So I wanted to make something, and I've done it before in one of my other builds. If you guys have ever seen like some of the landscaping where the bricks kind of go up and they like get smaller as they go down, if that makes sense, I kind of wanted to do something like that. So that's what I was going for here. Um, I actually didn't think by putting these bricks around the fire pit that the fire pit would work, but it does. It, it actually does work. So I was really, really surprised about that. And then this back here is just more decorative. I do want to caution you though, because I put so much stuff around that fire pit. If you use it, I would just be really careful that your sim doesn't catch on fire just because of all the stuff around it. Um, it was more like in my head for decoration. And then over here is the pool area. And I love this area as well. It's so sunny. I have a little spot over here and I put some of those little lights in there so you can sit out there after dark. Um, we have a little pitcher here so you can pour some lemonade. Um, you can do yoga. I put a yoga mat out here, a cooler, and again, some more chairs. Now, because we are outside, I was able to size down these, um, like these little vine branch hanging plant things from, um, oh, what is it? Why am I drawing a blank? From Jungle Adventures without a shadow. Usually if you do that inside, you get a shadow. But outside, they turn out pretty okay. So, um, yeah. And then this is the view from the back. If I can get my keys to work correctly. So, this is basically the back of the house. And the backyard. And then the side of the house, sorry, I'm a little bit shaky here. The side of the house and then going around, you've already seen this. And then I've got two trash cans out here, obviously a mailbox. And then over here is just more landscaping, which leads out to the pool. So you guys, this is my house for the Sim Let's See 100K challenge. I'm really, really proud of this house. Um, I absolutely love it. I've put so much time into it and, um, yeah, I'm really happy to share it with all of you guys. I think I'm definitely going to be putting it in my game save file. So, um, yeah, be on the lookout for that. I am going to upload this to the gallery. Um, and then I just have it labeled as, let's see, I think I just have it labeled as Simlessy Build Challenge. Oh, also, um, the lot traits, I have good schools, homey, and sunny aspects. So if you guys are wondering about those, 
Um, so yeah, I am going to submit this tonight and, uh, hopefully we will see who wins that contest. Like I said, I will put the description down below for this challenge. Um, it's a link to Simlessy's video, so you can check that out and do it yourself. Um, like I said, I believe that the deadline is April 21st. However, it's always fun to go back and do challenges, um, no matter when the deadline is, even just for fun. Um, so yeah, with all of that being said, I am so glad that you guys stopped by to check out this video. Um, be sure to stop by, check out some of my other videos. Let me know what you think about this home. Follow me on Twitter and you can stay updated on my channel and everything that's happening in my life. Again, this is a build challenge by Simlissy. I will link her YouTube in the comments below. And, um, yeah, I am going to get out of here. Bye guys.